Now, hey guys, this RevSent demo video covers how to set up a RevSent hosted shopping cart. It's a turnkey e-commerce solution. So, let's get into it here. Um, the first place we're going to go is to here in integrations. Uh, then we go to shops. Um, you can have as many as you want. First step will be create new shop. You'll pick a RevSent shop, since it's a RevSent hosted shopping cart. Uh, you'll type your name whatever your website, whatever you want to name the um, shop. You can put a description. And then we have two options um, here for the domain. Do you want to run it on a subdomain at our domain, RevSentShops.com? So like mystore.RevSent.com. RevSent will make sure that it's uni a unique value only to you. Um, so you could put your business name or whatever you want there. If you want to have your domain, the domain that you control, point to your RevSent, RevSent shop, you just pick this option and you type your domain. Um, it is important on this step that you include the www or any subdomain for that matter. The reason is that um, you'll be getting an SSL certificate and the way that Amazon structures it, which is where this is hosted, you um, we need to we need to do this in order to get your SSL certificate. Once this is once the SSL is issued, the um, your domain can your site can render just on the domain.com doesn't need the www but for this step we have to put it so you'll click create new shop when you do um, you will be sent two verification emails from amazon web services asking you to click i approve for your ssl certificate okay it's a free ssl certificate so <clears throat> you got to watch out for those emails and then click the approval link in both of them okay when you're done with that um, you'll be able to finalize the having the shop created. Okay, now let's head back over to the shops so that we can look at some that have already been set up and gone through the validation process so that we don't have to, um, you know, go through that whole process in the demo video. So let's head into this one. You've created the shop at this point and validated the, you know, and approved the emails that came from Amazon Web Services. You need to head over here to shop settings and domain settings. Now, these are two uh, settings that you need to create in your DNS uh, at your domain registrar. The first thing you have to do is create a CNAME record with the name www and you set this as the value. The next thing you have to create an A record with the at symbol as the name and this IP address as the value. Once you do that, the domain will propagate and your domain name will start um, going to your RevSense store, okay? So that's that set. <clears throat> that's that setting. Um, while we're on this shop settings tab, we might as well finish these up. Um, your contact info, uh, you can put your contact info address, um, email and phone for customer service. You can put in your social media accounts. Um, you can put in whether or not you want your customers to be able to log in or not, you know, like have customer accounts. Um, if you choose, if you don't want them to, if you want everyone to just check out as a guest, you can leave it disabled. If you do want them to, you enable it and you pick an SMTP uh, profile, which you have created already in RevSent. Um, there's another video on creating SMTP profiles. Um, so make sure you check that out. Um, you pick that, that's how your emails are going to get sent out to your customers. Um, do you want, and these are permissions that you can allow your customers to do once they're logged into the account. Um, modify their contact info, you can enable, you can let them add a credit card, you can let them remove a credit card, and you can let them set a default credit card, okay? Um, your domain name, these, these are the customer pages which are already created. Uh, my account, login and register. And these are the URLs for those. Um, <clears throat> reviews. You can enable or disable um, reviews to be left on your products. Uh, if you have it enabled, you can make you can set it so that you have to approve a review before it shows up on the web page. And you can also require that it must be a logged in customer who purchased, who actually completed a purchase on your website in order to do a review. Okay. Um, URL parameters, this is for tracking purposes. And again, there is a really in-depth video on uh, tracking in RevSent. It's, so make sure you watch that video too. 
Um, but here, if you wanted to uh, create custom tracking variables for your reporting, you could um, enter them here. Like if you want to say, you know, banner, you know, to keep track of what banner it might have been, you could set a cookie for 30, you know, for however many days, like 30 days. You know, you might have one called source or something. Um, and set it for 30 days. And then what you'd be doing is every time you, when you send someone to your, the URL of your shop, you would put, you know, mydomain.com question mark banner equals whatever, or and source equals whatever. It's a way for you to track um, where the sales are coming from. Okay, but there's, there's you, you have the ability to add these here uh, as many as you want. Watch the entire tracking video, demo video because it'll give you a much fuller um, understanding of how it works. Okay, um, the domain settings we already went, we are, I already showed you that, and then here in advanced, let's say for example, if you wanted to, uh, like if you had already created a shop here with all the settings perfectly done, just the way you like them, you can just copy them from another uh, shop that you already created. Um, this section is enabling custom code. Uh, this will allow you to put uh, a snippet of code on every single page of your website. This is this is where you would put it for, you know, like any site-wide code that you want on, want on there, like Google Analytics or Bing or Facebook or whatever, okay? Um, you also have the ability, oh, and incidentally, you can include in this custom code some RevSense short codes, like the URL of the page and the visitor's IP address and the RevSense visitor ID if you really want to get custom. Um, and then last but not least, you can clear the cache of your store down here if you want to, like if you made some changes and you want to just clear it out so that everybody sees the perfectly new version of the site. Okay, so that's our shop settings. Let's get over here to the details and then we'll finish up tab by tab and getting a shop set up. So um, here again, this is what we named it. It's enabled, you know, you pick if you're in live mode or test mode, right? This is our URL that we set up. Do we want to allow search engines to index the, sh to index the shop, true or false? You pick your currency. Here you pick what campaign you want this um, website to send the orders into in RevSent. Um, same with payment profile, which is your credit card processor. And you can also assign a PayPal account. So setting up a campaign, setting up a payment profile, and setting up a PayPal account are other demo videos that are in here. It's just, a, it's another simple step you do here in RevSent. So make sure you watch the videos so that you have these created already by the time you go and create your, um, you know, your RevSense shop. Okay, now display. <coughs> um, here we pick a theme and we pick color, colors and typography, and you, you can upload your images here too. So um, the first thing we do is we pick our starting theme, okay? There are four themes uh, in here that we use to begin with, and then we customize colors and typography after. So you could take a look at them. We have um, some demos that are set up that you can look at. Um, for example, here's one theme, you know, um, that you could see where it's got this slider image here on the homepage, some special images uh, here, you know, an informational bar uh, here for some bullet points you want to make, um, shows categories and the, and the associated products here, another, um, you know, category navigational section here, some special, a special offer here. Join my newsletter. You can include some of the reviews in another little widget area here. Um, you, I think you get the point. So this is a, you know, this is the home page um, of this one. Um, you'll see the navigational menu. You can just have regular links, um, a simple drop down. You can have a category mega menu that that if you pick RevSent will create this for you. And then you can also have a custom mega menu which will let you do things like use HTML to have images in the menu or emoticons in there, okay? Or categories or list your page or whatever you wanted, you know? Um, so we get the idea there's other themes that you can use as your starting point. Um, here's another one with the slider here and this little menu bar hovers when you scroll. Featured products, selling products, you, you create these yourself. Um, 
various products. You know, you can look at the product. We can look at a product page too. Um, we'll see featured products here at to cart. You have a large description area as, as long as you want. You can have as many images as you want, I think, too. Um, reviews, if you have reviews, they'll appear like that. Um, related products, etc. So you pick the theme, right? We can go through these other ones, but you get the idea. You pick the theme that you want to start with, okay? Um, we can go into the logo section. You can upload your logo, okay? We have the RevSent logo here, but you would upload yours. Uh, you can upload it or you could pick it from your image gallery, right? Um, same goes for your favicon. You can enable your favicon icon uh, and upload one or take it from your image gallery. Um, the menus, uh, are we enabling the menu? Yes, we are. And the menu creator. Um, here, this is, you know, simple like drag and drop, like creating a menu in any, um, you know, in most site editors. It's very simple. Um, here you can create your top text and links. Um, which are like featured text up at the top of the page. Um, you know, it's a simple WYSIWYG. You can type things in here, change fonts, colors, et cetera. Um, and menus, we've got, so for each theme, these options are gonna be different, you know? Like for theme two, these are the options that are available for you to pick. Theme three might have an extra option or two, depending on its the features it has. Um, so. Here we've got a couple of little extra menus, one at the top of the footer um, in different columns. Like in this, this column, we could put, we have contact info appearing. This column, you know, you could put your account, your account links like register or what have you. Um, you know, there, there's several columns um, that you can put in here. Okay, those are the basic settings for display for um, the theme, okay? Now, we could further customize the theme by going into colors and typography. Um, and there's the main sections of the body, the navigation bar, the notice bar, the footer, primary button colors, and secondary button colors. So here we're picking, you know, you, you, you would go in and mess with these, right? Pick different ones and then go look at your site and see how, how it looks and see how you like it. Um, so you can pick your different um, fonts, whatever font you want. You could pick, change the size, the font color, um, the font color if it's a link, if it's a link as the mouse is hovering over it, and then the background of the body. And these are simple color editors. You click it, you know, find the color that you want wherever, right? Okay. Um, for the nav bar, you have the same options. You're picking size and colors and background colors and hover colors. Same for the notice bar. The notice bar is like this up here, for example, or this red bar, right? So um, we, we pick that stuff. The footer um, at the bottom of the pages for the theme, you know, you're picking your colors and primary buttons and background and secondary buttons, okay? So <clears throat> those are the colors and fonts and stuff that we can change overall. Um, here in image gallery, this is just very simply upload whatever images you want to have them stored here, and then you can use them throughout the site as you you know as you're going. Um, pages is a cool thing. So <clears throat> this is some pages are created by default, um, like the you know register and my account, etc. Um, checkout is another one of those uh, product pages and category slugs. Uh, we've got a contact us page and a 404 page. Now you can create your own pages by clicking add page and then you can put, um, you know, you can put like the, whatever you want to name the page um, for the valid URL. You can pick, uh, are you just creating content or are you just going to redirect this page? You put the title of the page for the HTML and also the description. And then you just put your, you use this WYSIWYG, you can add um, images, tables, text, um, change fonts, uh, colors, sizes, background colors. And you can also add custom code just to this page specifically, if you wanted to, okay? Um, so that's how you create pages. You can create as many as you want. Like for the basic pages that already exist, like contact and checkout, 
you'll have some fields here are already made for you to choose from, like your, the top content of your page. Um, this is what's going to go on the top of your Contact Us page, right? Um, the contact form itself, uh, we're just going to call it Contact Form. There's a right sidebar to the right of it where, we, where we're calling it Company Info. You can put that extra info there. And likewise, you could put custom code on the contact page if you want. That's generally how it works. For creating any page, you're going to have the same basic you're going to have this custom code always and you're going to have the content section but you might have some extra sections that you can modify if it's a pre-created page that has like for example if it's the contact page of course it's going to have the contact form on it okay let's go look at the index page which is this one which is the most exciting example because it's got a lot of these options like if you you recall you know on the home page of one of the templates we've got you know, this bar of extra bullet points here. We've got this at the top. We've got our links on here, our phone number, right? We've got the slider. We've got, you know, these, you know, feature areas here and um, the categories and, you know, basically the whole layout of the homepage. This is a homepage template, right? So <clears throat> here, excuse me, here on the homepage, the index page here, um, we can set up all these sections that we want we can change we could put the content for the notice bar at the top okay you can do it for the here's where you do the home page slider uh, which is this right so we would change you know you can go slide one slide two slide three you could pick your image or upload it type some content that will appear over it put the font of it bold the style whatever you want um, you have that option for all three sides the top info boxes, which uh, might be like these, one, two, three, or they might be like these, one, two, three. You can go and um, enable them and insert what you want in each column. Okay, so you've got the, so in, in essence of every segment of this homepage, you've got your own editor that you could fill out uh, the information that you want or the, the graphic or the style. This is super simple to use, guys. Um, so, you know, I've got your top, same thing. You pick your newest products, um, your top selling products, whatever you want to call them, okay? Um, again, of course, you've got your custom code if you want to put something specific code-wise on this page. So, um, <clears throat> that's our pages. Let's go into categories. And here, uh, we go ahead and I, we uh, establish category names and then we add products to the category so you know this one we might call it stuff we're going to put the slug of the category and keep in mind there are videos that show you how to create products in RevSent. you know you just go and create them you can import them or you can just add them in RevSent manually um, but once you have them in there um, <clears throat> you'll be able to create categories and then assign the products to the categories okay so these are all the category these are all the products that we're adding into this category um, <clears throat> we can upload images um, for the category too, like a header, a featured image or a header background. Okay, we can upload those. Um, we're also able to create like extra, you know, you can have as many categories as you want and create and drag and drop them so that they'll be like subcategories. If I could figure out how to drag and drop again. See, so like we could have you know, like that could be a different one or they could all be um, equal. I'm struggling with this enlarged mouse um, for the demo. Um, so you got it, you, this is how you create the, the hierarchy of your categories. Um, and this is how you add the products to them. You just click them over. And if you wanna get rid of one, you just hot click it and it'll go back, okay? Um, <clears throat> so that's our categories. Um, and products, actions, this is what happens on certain, when certain things take place. Like if there's a che successful checkout, we say, okay, what do we want to do? We want to redirect the customer to a different URL or do we want to display some HTML? So let's just say, you know, display HTML. Here you can type your thank you message, you know, like, thanks for your order, right? <clears throat> you can make this as complex as you want. 
and you can include information about the customer um, and the sale with these short codes. So you could say, you know, thank you, customer first name, la customer last name, for your order, order ID, we'll insert order ID, and you can create this as pretty as you want and as customized as you want. You also have the ability to, once again, show custom code that will appear only on the checkout success. This would be like any conversion tracking code or something that you only want it to fire when, um, you know, when there's been a successful purchase, okay? Uh, if you pick redirect to a different URL, we just put the URL that we want to send it to. And if you want to, you can fix parameters or include dynamic parameters with those same short codes um, to the other URL if you wanted to. Um, <clears throat> so that's that. If there's a contact form submission, um, we can we will, we can enable a response, saying true, and then we set up. We say, hey, who do you want um, to send the email to? What SMTP profile to use, and what should the content of the email be? Um, and then again, you know, we can enable custom code for that. Uh, likewise, on the newsletter subscription, we can enable um, we can enable it or not. And if it goes into uh, your third-party mail um, integration, this account we've added MailChimp. But and again, there's videos for integrating third-party services like that. But you can um, you can integrate with Constant Contact, MailChimp, Klaviyo, iContact. There's a handful of those email providers in there. So you um, you know just go ahead and pick the mail um, subscribe uh, the subscription service that you want to uh, include. And then, you know, click save and then, <clears throat> you know, you can view your store by going to the domain. You can change your settings anytime, um, update your pages, add new ones, categories and, you know, add new products, etc. Um, you can also change um, like the theme and colors anytime. If you do end up changing your theme after you've gone through and set it all up, you may find that if you choose a different theme, it may not have all the same options like for the home page, for example. So you just want to double check that if you're switching themes that you're not um, disabling something that you really liked. Um, and that's it, guys. Basically, that's that's how simple it is to set up your RevSent third party um, shop or excuse me, your RevSent hosted shop. Um, any sales that come in from there will be visible um, in your RevSent um, you know, order management section, which there's plenty of videos that show you how to view and manage sales and subscriptions and trial offers and everything else. So, you know, any, any orders that come in from there, you'll see them right here. Um, and then you can go and manage them as you see fit, just like we've shown you in the other videos. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this demo on setting up your um, uh, RevSend hosted shopping cart. And we'll see you on the next demo video.